guys, today we're checking out a Soundstream Picasso Nano PN1.650D. So these are really super compact amplifiers. They're only about four and a half by nine. So, and these are made in Korea. Made in Korea. I know a lot of people that use these, and although the mo they're not the most powerful, they're super reliable amps. So, really nice looking. You got a power and protect light on front. There's no lights on this. It's a blue half spider, but nothing lights up. And on this side, you have high level inputs, low level inputs, gain, subsonic, bass boost, low pass, and your remote input. And there's the remote knob and on this side we have huge speaker outs those are like 8 gauge speaker outs and an 8 gauge power input and two 25 amp fuses so let's say the specs on this are 650 times 1 at 2 ohms this amps only 2 ohm stable and 400 watts times 4 ohm so let's get it hooked up and see what she does. All right, four ohm test. Specs say 400 watts times one at four ohms. So let's see what it does. All right, not quite there. I'll put the results up on the screen now. So we did. 363 watts at 4 ohms and we drew 33 amps at 14.36 volts at 76 percent efficient so very good disregard the meter in the videos it was wrong let's try dynamic burst see if we can hit that 400 watt mark dynamic rms 4 ohms let's see if we can hit the 400 all right and we do so 415 watts at 4 ohms, so spec said 400. So that's good. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get ready for the uh, 2 ohm test. Alright, 2 ohm test, and we are looking for 650 watts. Ooh. Very close. So we got uncertified 601 watts and we only drew, wow, 30 amps at 14.32 at volts. Efficiency is really good on this little amp. All right, let's do dynamic burst. I'm sure with dynamic we can hit that 650 at, at 2 ohm. All right, dynamic RMS at 2 ohm. Let's see if we could reach 650. Oh, all right. Nice. 773 watts at 2 ohms. So it definitely did over the 650. And you know, I'd say this is a total winner because even uncertified, it did pretty close to the ratings. And dynamic, it does more. So that's pretty good. All righty, so there you have it. So this is a great little amp. It did what it said, which is nice. Um, very well built. This is a Korean amp, so for the money and for the build quality, you can't beat it. Um, and it did rated power and actually more dynamic. So let me go ahead and take the back off and we'll see what the Korean guts in this little amplifier look like. All right, guys, so here's a gut shot of this little beauty. And wow, those are two really big caps for this little amp. Those are 80 volt. 4700 microfarad caps but excellent build quality so very cool <clears throat> alright guys well that's it for this video I hope you found it helpful if you're looking for a lower wattage super high quality Korean amp that's gonna last and is affordable then hey 
honestly I think these are hard to beat for the price being Korean and putting out pretty much what they say so take a look at them if you're interested I'll put a link below and until next time thanks guys